Bitcoin! On fire! Good morning guys. In today's video, a lot of information again. Of course, we are going to start with the Bitcoin price and where can we expect Bitcoin to go and how are we going to close this monthly candle. We are also this time going to talk about Ethereum and the Litecoin price because it's beautiful what they have done. Then I'm going to share this cool story of yesterday, how this beautiful Bitcoin life here on Copagan can lead to some luxury problems when you need to unload a six person golf car in a cage out of a truck without a forklift or anything else you are going to laugh your ass off and yes i will also show you guys how far i need to walk from my beautiful house here in copangan to the first restaurant where i can pay with bitcoin you will enjoy this episode like i enjoy creating this so start watching it now and give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to the channel and please hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video i make Enjoy it guys. Good morning guys. Today I'm going to do and start the video a little bit different because a lot of people ask me, but Didi, can you pay with Bitcoin in Copangan? So I am going to show you that it's possible, yes. I don't know if the store is open yet and if I because it's very early, but I'm going to try and show you how far I need to walk here in Copacan in Chalaklam to pay with Bitcoin. I just left my house as you could see and then I will turn left and then I will show you how far it is still the first place that accepts Bitcoin direct payments for food drinks and all the other stuff. Let's see how far the walk is. I will turn the camera so you can enjoy the village a little bit more. Can you see it already? Multi house guys, that's where you go in Thailand and pay with Bitcoin. As you can see guys this is not a long walk for me this is like 100 meters and this is the first restaurant that accepts Bitcoin I can buy food I can buy my drinks breakfast dinner lunch everything and it's like not even 100 meters away from my house so this is really 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 cool here in Copenhagen more and more businesses start to accept um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies of course Dash is very popular in Thailand as well but to me, of course, uh, if I can spend Bitcoin and support the community with this and all the miners and everything, you know, I will just use Bitcoin. Then the second question that all people ask is, Didi, but don't you think it's very, very, very expensive to spend your Bitcoins at the moment? And then I can only say, guys, yes, if you are not all in like me, you have the option to choose between spending Bitcoins or spending fiat. Like you're used, guys, I'm going to jump into my office. Welcome in this beautiful office on this beautiful day in Copenhagen again. So we were talking about that people keep asking me, but Didi, don't you think it's expensive to uh, spend your Bitcoins now? Yes, this can be very expensive if you think Bitcoin could go to 100,000. So if I'm spending like 0.1 Bitcoin in rent a month, this is now like 900 euros. But it could mean that it is like 90,000 euros in a few years' times. So then I paid 90,000 euros in rent in a few years' times per month. If you would look back into the past. But guys, this is a question that only people can ask me that are not all in. If you are all in like me, either I exchange my Bitcoin back to Thai Baht, I lose my Bitcoins because I'm exchanging them to Thai Baht and then spend Thai Baht, or I just use the Bitcoin to pay directly to, for example, multi-house. I prefer to use these Bitcoin and pay directly to multi-house because I will lose the Bitcoin in both scenarios. And so why would I want to pay the ATM fees and all that stuff if I can support the whole crypto community and industry by just using Bitcoin to pay for things? 
This reminds me to an article I read uh, from Roger Ver because he uh, found this vending machine now in Singapore that doesn't accept Bitcoin but does accept Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin. So yes, I need to admit that Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin are both currencies now that have lower transaction fees and have a better position to do micro uh, payments. Yes, we, we, we cannot deny this. The fees of Bitcoin have skyrocketed again last month and of, of course they dropped again with 50%, but still, you know, it's very expensive to transact your Bitcoins if you compare it to Litecoin, for example. So yes, that is also what I want to teach you guys because I am not the Bitcoin maximalist maximalist. I am a uh, use cryptocurrency to the fullest maximalist and do with your life everything to the fullest maximalist. So if I need to use my Litecoins to pay in this Singapore um, vending machine, I will use my Litecoins, why not? And then I will treat Bitcoin more as a store of value. So I hodl my biggest part in the Bitcoins, sometimes I buy some Litecoins or Ethereum, whatever currency, and then just pay with them if there is no other option for me. Get back to the story. So for me, it doesn't matter. Spending Bitcoins or exchanging Bitcoins to fiat I lose bitcoins either way so then i think it's better to spend the bitcoins talking about bitcoin my god my show only is mentioning bitcoin um yeah the bitcoin price is also important at the moment because bitcoin is now around 9700 ish and yes like you can see in this chart i shared like a few days ago um when i showed you this beautiful elliott wave we went to from the wave c to d and now from D probably to E, and point D was exactly around 9,800-ish. So we didn't reach 9,800 yet, I think, but we still can. Please be aware that we are going to close this weekly and monthly candle today. It's Sunday here. So if we would close this monthly and weekly candle above 9,360, that would be a very positive start for the next month to open. Yes, we can still see this pullback, like you can see in this triangle, we went to point D and now we can go pull back to point E, that's around 9,000 US dollars. But then from point E, if you look the way we entered the triangle, still remember, you know, the white picture, if you enter from above, you are most likely to going to exit downwards. And if you enter from under and you make the ABCD E, you most likely to exit upwards. So if we would retrace pull back to 9K, there still is this beautiful opportunity of then gathering the friends and bam, pushing above 10K, 10,500-ish, because that's the biggest resistance we have been facing for many, many, many weeks now. I think for more than a year almost. So we need to break this 10,500 level to become even more bullish and to see 11K or even 12K in play. Why do I say 12K in play? If you look at this chart, also posted on Twitter by a good trader, you can see that we are indeed in this triangle. We are making these moves in between this triangle. And if we look at the statistics, what normally happens after leaving this triangle, um, Bitcoin should be able to go to 12K. So this is all like in the next week. So this is not long term, this is the short term play. Long term, I keep saying if we close this month above 9,360, we could see again this beautiful bull run as you could, as you already understood from all the other videos I've been making the last couple of weeks. Um, many indicators are very positive. If you look at the weekly chart to the MACD, for example, it's perfectly position it to start this beautiful run up because it has a lot of space upwards to move there are so many technical indicators that are positive at the moment for Bitcoin and if you combine these with the macroeconomical factors that you see this economical war and an economical instability and you know the devaluation of fiat currency more and more people will understand the power of Bitcoin and will start to invest in Bitcoin and will follow all these huge billionaires that are already investing in Bitcoin and all these institutional investment companies like Grayscale um, that's just buying up all the Bitcoins every day because they believe that we will see this beautiful bull run. 
don't get me wrong i am in bitcoin for the true fundamentals but if huge companies like grayscale enter the market they want to make money they don't want to lose money for their clients they want to make like money for their clients and they know that they can make money for their clients by buying these bitcoins at these low prices important level to keep watching is 9300 because we haven't been able to do this for the last 10 11 months so that would be a huge breakthrough for bitcoin to close the candle again above this level did you also enjoy the litecoin and the ethereum run yesterday i think it was like 10 percent and five or six percent i am always invested in litecoin and ethereum of course and yes i um, found it really amusing that they flew up a little bit to the targets they should reach as i said in a video like six days ago or something if ethereum gets enough power man we could even see ethereum go to 290 us dollar and litecoin is around like 74 dollar now so that's like five dollar higher than we were a few days ago and um, this is just a lot of profit if you have 100 200 or 300 litecoins that's like 1500 dollars um, profit in a few days time do i sell my litecoins now no because i think there is way more upwards movement possible for litecoin so i will just sit it out and we'll wait maybe the litecoin will go to like 70 dollars or 65 dollars and then maybe sell them to buy them back again at 50 dollars this is the game we i play and this is also to answer another question because people ask me how do you manage your portfolio very 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 simple we hodl about 75 percent in our hardware wallets these wallets i don't even have access to while we travel if i want to touch these hardware wallets physically i need to travel a long way from here who where is Didi's treasure hidden that's the stash of my hardware wallets and that contains like 75 percent i think of my bitcoins now you might ask yourself what do you do with the other 25 percent the other 25 percent i use to play this beautiful trading game and with these 25 percent i can still make enough money to just live every month i zoom out on the charts i don't play daily because then i get a headache because i'm already doing a lot of stuff and i don't want to be attached to this screen whole day so i always zoom out and play the bigger picture so yes if a litecoin goes to 30 bucks i will buy the litecoins yeah and and, and let's say i pay i buy 100 litecoins at 30 bucks that's like three thousand us dollar and now litecoin is already like a few weeks later litecoin is already around 47 so if you do this with also ethereum and bitcoin and a few other currencies you can make some uh, you easily can make like 1500 to 2000 dollars just by trading and that's enough to live in these beautiful countries like thailand because here in thailand the cost of living is just very low the rent is not high the food is cheap um, the transport is cheap like almost everything is cheap so if you minimize the cost of living and that you can do by going to thailand for example we started minimizing the monthly cost you know by selling the house by getting rid of all these luxury cars or everything that needed to be paid for every month you know because that's like a huge trunk of of your spendings every month if you own all that stuff so if you don't own anything just a few backpacks and you have no monthly costs you can exactly determine which monthly costs you want to have and you can be flexible in this and you need to be flexible in this because you know that bitcoin is a volatile asset so if it's a volatile asset your cost of living need to be flexible as well you need to be able to decrease the cost of living and increase the cost of living whenever you want wherever you want and that is why we choose for digital nomad life this is all things I wrote in our book and there's a lot of information in our book on how we do it um, and if you want to have like some private coaching send me a private message and I will uh, see if we can come together somewhere somehow online offline so I can coach you a little bit through um, the steps we took as a family and you can take as a family as well I'm going to share with you that beautiful story of yesterday evening I was almost starting to have dinner with my friend Jet and Katja Kyle from Master Ventures calls me Didi can you please help me it's urgent I said is it really urgent or no it's urgent I don't know who else to ask so I'm like jumping onto my motorbike 
driving to Carl full speed because I thought there was a huge problem or whatever. I come there, he was not even at home. He was still need still to arrive at home and he was laughing and very cheerful. I'm like, well, man, I'm stressed, man. I'm here. I thought there was a problem. And he's like, no, no, no. They are just delivering my new 4x4 golf car and I need um, some help to load this bo a bo beautiful golf car out of this truck because the people in Thailand don't understand how to get it out. Uh, happy for Carl because he's also like this Bitcoin maximalist who lives this beautiful Bitcoin life here and he is also the guy behind House of Dao. It was one big comedy show because this guy comes with a truck where this huge golf car, like a six person golf car, is in a cage in the truck and he doesn't have anything, no forklift, no nothing. Get this cage out of this truck. So we, we need to figure out how we did it. We came with this bright plan, <laughs> you will be laughing, to tie two of these big ropes to the golf car, to the cage, tie them to electricity poles, left and right, and then just drive the truck forward. So this cage would be um, drawn out of, this, out of the truck. The plan was perfect. And we also succeeded. The car started driving and the cage came out, 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 and then it tipped over and it perfectly tipped over, didn't hit the roof, so then, this cage was partly leaning on the floor and partly leaning uh, in the car. So then we just needed to open the cage. Um, Lex came with his, I don't know how you say it in English, but the one that, that cuts iron. So I said, Lex, wait, I will make a beautiful video intro. That is the intro you saw. That is the intro with the fire and me straight yelling Bitcoin. But then um, we also unscrewed the cage and then the car could roll out and we took out the car. It was a very humoristic Thai way of unloading this huge golf car in an iron cage out of a truck. I, I was like, this can only happen in Thailand. So it was just a lot of fun. Yes, guys, maybe you can see in my eyes that I'm a little bit tired, but that was because um, my guest stayed again to 3 a.m. and I woke up again at 8. So I had my five hours sleep, but the alcohol always takes its toll a little bit. So I will keep it till this, guys. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful video again. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit this beautiful bell button so you'll be notified on every new video I make. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Sunday. Have fun. Zoom out in Bitcoin. Zoom in in life. Live life to the fullest every single minute of the day. See you tomorrow again. Bye.